I have some new updates for you about the contestants that are already in the US for Miss Universe. Today's episode is brought to you by Rehearsed to Relatable. It's the place that you can go to learn how to stand out in an interview room. So if you want to learn more about that, just click the description below. Hi, I'm Danny Walker. If you're brand new to my channel, thank you for clicking on this episode. If you love content like this, then don't forget to subscribe and hit that notifications. Today, I'm going to be giving you some great updates about the contestants. Several of the Miss Universe contestants have already arrived in the US and I did another episode about this a few days ago that you can check out right up here if you wanna see more about that. But I found out that three of them are in Los Angeles to meet with an official Miss Universe organization sponsor. This year, O Skincare and Luxury Spa in Cerritos, California, which is so funny because I know Cerritos. I've been to Cerritos. I, I haven't heard of this line or this brand or company before, but this skincare line is sponsoring the contestants and apparently three of our queens have been chosen to go and shoot with them for some promos way in advance. And the reason that I think that this is important to mention or to bring up is because of how IMG runs things. And I've talked about this before in other episodes, but if you really follow the pageant, you'll see that the contestants that are highly promoted leading up to the pageant or during the show in B-roll footage are the ones that we typically see placing in the semifinals. So let's pay attention to who's here right now. We have El Salvador, Philippines, and Colombia. Yay! These are contestants that I recently talked about that have been in multiple episodes that I've created and they look stunning and clearly the owner of this business is loving them. So I'm going to show you some pictures. Here we have the queens with who I presume is the owner of this business, who seems to be very excited about working with them. This is pretty incredible that they're already doing press with sponsors. I actually haven't really seen this before. It, it did happen my year, I will say, for USA there, was it my year or was it the year before? Chi Hair Care worked with select contestants months before Miss USA was. And we've just really seen that consistently that these contestants who are handpicked to work with sponsors are usually the ones that are going to be placing in a semifinal. Now, I don't want to say that in a way that just makes things sound rigged, as people would say, because that's not, that's not actually what I'm getting at. What I'm getting at is I think that the reason that these contestants end up being chosen for these spots and then we see them place in a semifinal is because of their skills because the organization is paying attention to who is putting in the effort who is looking really really great for the brand like who potentially could be the face of the miss universe organization so i think that the reason that contestants are picked for these promotional spots is because of the skills the qualities and the specific talents they have and because they possess those talents that's why we later see them placing in a semi-final if a contestant is great on camera and looks beautiful with no makeup and knows how to work her angles yeah she's probably going to bring that all to the stage at the pageant, which is why that she's gonna place later. But it is just something interesting to watch and to note, and I just wanted to share it really quickly to give you guys a little bit of an update of what the contestants are doing. Uh, I don't really know what else is planned for anybody else, and I don't know if they're gonna be working with any other sponsors prior to Miss Universe. If you know details about that, then please just share that below in the comments. Since we are seeing more of these contestants at this particular appearance, I wanna know out of these three contestants who are you rooting for and who do you think is going to take home that Miss Universe crown like I said really quick episode just to catch you up I hope that you enjoyed this make sure that you are tuned in for more that I have coming and also a really big thank you to all of you who have been subscribed and supported the channel this morning I woke up and the channel hit 50,000 subscribers which was a really big goal of mine and honestly I can't believe it really happened so I'm really excited. I, I'm so thankful all of your support for all of your support. And I, I just really can't wait to continue the coverage of Miss Universe this year. I think it's going to be really fun. I'm really trying to attend the pageant. So hopefully we'll be able to make that happen this year. Thank you so much for tuning into this episode. Make sure that you are subscribed if you haven't already. Share this episode with a friend and come back for lots more.